Hello everybody, this is David, and I'm here to react to and review the trailer to Godzilla vs. Kong that just came out the other day. This is a bit of an experiment, I've never really done this before, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Let's jump into it. This is our only chance. Oh, they captured it. We have to take it. We need Kong. The world needs him. To stop what's coming. And this child. She's the only one he'll communicate with. I knew that they had a bond. She had nowhere to go, so... I made a promise to protect her. And I think that, in some way, Kong did the same. These are dangerous times. Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people, and we don't know why. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. I'm of the same opinion. The myths are real. Yeah. There was a war. Earlier or what? And they're the last ones standing. I keep reaching for greatness because I'm built from it. Who bows to who? Nobody gonna stop for me. Kong bows to no one. <laughs> Okay, very cool. I'm I'm very excited to see this and this trailer. I mean, it just it just makes me more excited to see this. Uh, I Godzilla is definitely the bad guy now. I mean, in the in the first uh, couple movies, they really kind of hyped him up as the the good guy. He's the hero that comes in and beats up the the bad monsters, you know. And uh, it's interesting to see that they have flipped that on his head, and now we have Kong as the the good monster i guess and somehow they captured kong and brought her in who is this little girl that talks to her is that supposed to be like the the girl that he goes and breaks out and climbs up the tower for and all that kind of stuff in the other movies i i don't know i don't know is that is this like an ancestor maybe to uh to like brie larson from from that first uh kong movie I don't know. I don't know. Kong's gigantic in this. He's way bigger, which uh, makes sense. I suppose they they he was a kid in that first movie. They kind of established that in that first movie. And so him growing up here, that makes sense that, you know, now he's a lot bigger. He's a lot bigger, man. He must have been real young in that first movie. That was his parents were dead and like completely rotted away so he wasn't that young but i guess these giant kaiju creatures live a long time probably so that's what's up with that uh this looks awesome man i i can't wait for this oh he comes in with like thor's axe coming in like from end game swinging that in where where did that come from first of all did the government make that to to fight <laughs> to fight godzilla with or something where does that come from? Uh, I mean, I'm just a fan of this. I haven't seen the old Godzilla movies. Haven't seen the old King Kong movies. Uh, I'm I'm really just coming in from this seeing Godzilla, Godzilla King of the Monsters, and uh, Kong Skull Island. So just those three movies. This is the fourth one where they finally you know come together, and this looks awesome. This looks incredibly fun. 
not a lot of, of character stuff in here. Uh, whenever a monster movie comes out, I mean, the, what makes a great monster movie, in my opinion, what brings it up from like a good or a fun monster movie to like a great monster movie, in my opinion, is the the characters. And if they can give you characters that you, you like and you can attach onto or something. Uh, not a lot with the characters in this trailer. So that's still just kind of a big question mark for me. But ultimately... I'll enjoy it even if the characters are not that great or, or kind of irrelevant to the <laughs> wider narrative of the story or anything like that. I'll still enjoy it. I still think it'll be a good time, and I, I'm excited for this. I think this looks awesome. It's it's among my most anticipated movies of the year, I think, and uh, I'm, I'm excited for it to see it in theaters because this is definitely a theater-going movie. This is a movie that you got to go see in theaters because of the big spectacle of it all, and so I can't wait to go to theaters to see Kong vs. Godzilla. When does it say it is? It does not say it is. No release date, so I'm not sure about the release date yet, but coming up in with, within this year, uh, and theaters will hopefully all be opened back up again. Um, my theaters just opened up again here very recently. I do notice on here it says, available on HBO Max for 31 days from the theatrical release. So I guess this one's actually... I guess this one's actually uh, getting a spacing between its theatrical release and the HBO Max release, which is probably a, a good thing. I mean, we don't need to kill theaters any more than they're already dying, you know? Go support your local theater is what I'm saying. I can't wait for this movie. This looks awesome. If you enjoyed this reaction, uh, you can just comment in the comments, do whatever it is you do to videos on websites like this, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.